Thank you. Good evening and welcome to Creating a Better World Meditation. Thank you everyone for joining us tonight. And as Janine said, I will be leading tonight's meditation. Um, I want to thank you all for coming. If you don't know who I am, I've been working with Janine now for over four years. So she's my colleague and also um, my best friend, I would say. So thank you all for trusting in me and I'm very honoured and um, very grateful from the bottom of my heart for, for doing this tonight. Um, if this is your first time joining us, I'd just like to let you know the purpose of these meditations um, for creating a better world. It really is, um, first and foremost, if we don't dream and if we don't visualize it and if we don't feel um, us creating a better world, we really, we really can't create a better world. And as Janine would say, I'm gonna use her words, you cannot create a better world by complaining about what is wrong with the current one. You get what you think about whether you want it or not. It's the law of attraction. So Janine often says that and it's um, it reigns true. It really does. So thank you so very much for being here. And Janine and I are very passionate about this. We are extremely grateful for you all. Thank you to everyone who has returned week after week. Um, we are very honoured that you continue to support us and our, our mission. Thank you for all our new attendees as well. And um, we welcome you with open arms. And those who have introduced a new member to this group, you guys are really amazing. And, and I say thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I'm sure Janine does too. Every single one of you is making a difference and a huge impact in this world just by attending tonight. So with that... Um, I want to start talking about values. I know over the last two weeks we have spoken about courage, hope and leadership, which is influence. And this week I want to briefly talk about um, the next three values, which is gratitude, love and forgiveness. So I'm just going to have a quick um, brief discussion about them and then we can start our meditation. So earlier this week, uh, Janine had her Meaningful Monday and... Um, it was called Bring the Magic Back into Your Life. If you didn't get a chance to, to listen to that wonderful uh, webinar, it is available on her Silver Method Australia YouTube page, uh, her channel. And um, really, gratitude is, is uh, a feeling of being thankful. It's a little bit more than that. I find it's, it's more of a deeper appreciation for someone or, or, or something. And... Um, it produces a really long lasting effect of positivity. When you're really grateful, it radiates in, in every part of your, your life. And um, I feel that not only should you be grateful for what you have, I mean, there are so many wonderful things we can be grateful for, but I find when things don't go wrong, we need to be a little bit more grateful. And everything, and I mean really everything, is for your highest good. We need to be grateful under all circumstances. And we do that. And if we don't do that, we cannot receive more in return. So in other words, you have to give to get. And um, I just want to make it really clear. You have to give to get. If you don't do that, it, you, know, you, you really do fall short in your life. I do have a really good um, quote here that I just want to rattle off quickly. Gratitude is the best medicine. It heals your mind. It heals your body and your spirit and attracts more things to be grateful for. So I really do think that sums it all up. Our next, uh, our next value is love. Now, this is a really big topic for me. It's probably one of my most important values personally. And I think it's something that we really all need to embody. And I know in today's society, in today's world, we can be really... Um, expectant of things from everybody else we're always saying you know I expect this from this person or I expect that from from that person I think before we can begin to love anyone or anything it requires really for you to love yourself there's a really big um, gap I would say in that and I'm, I'm talking personally from myself that when you're a child or when you're in your teens or even as a young adult or even, you know, my age or, or whatever, I mean, I'm not that old, but my age, we tend to not get taught that. We, we never get taught to love yourself first. It's always about giving to others. It's always about what I can do for somebody else. 
And when you finally realize that you're pretty much depleted, you don't have much to give, you've forgotten yourself. And I really can, can't stress this so much. I can't really keep talking about it as because I'm really passionate about it. You can only give what you have. And it's really, really important that you fill your cup first. And that means doing what you love, um, some self-care, spending time doing what makes you happy so you can give to others. And I guess one of the, um, the best ways of showing love is through actions because they say actions speak louder than words. We often forget to show love to ourselves, you know, and that could be in the form, like I said before, of self-care or whatever it may be. So that is a really, really important lesson in itself. You know, you cannot give what you don't have. Um, I have a really good quote here from Martin Luther King, and I'd like to share it with you, and especially in, in our present moment in the world. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. And I think it's quite relevant in today's society that there is a lot of um, darkness, and we, all of us here, are light bearers. We're all light workers, and as Janine would say, we're all dealers in hope. So, um, yeah, I think that's something that we all need to practice more and more of and, and continuously to practice. It's not just something that we do one off. Our next and our last value I want to speak about is forgiveness. Now, I'm going to read a quote off here. Wayne Dyer speaks about forgiveness, and I think this is really a, a really good quote. Forgiveness is really an act of letting go, releases the anger, the resentment, the hatred, the bitterness, the thoughts of revenge that we've been carrying around. And we can really do this and let go without even encountering the person that we want to forgive. So I really believe that forgiveness is freedom. And when we want somebody else to change because it's not okay with us, we're really holding ourselves as a prisoner. You know, sometimes we rely, if that person said this or if that person did that, that will make me feel better. Or we're really, um, we're relinquishing our power and also our self-compassion. So most often what we really want is love. And if we don't get onto it, if we don't feel it, we hold on to it. And that can be really um, devastating, has devastating results in our lives. So I guess, we, we, do we really want to hold on to this? Do we really want to hold on to that feeling of being a prisoner? No, we don't. So the best thing that we really could do is choosing to um, offer ourselves love, you know, and when we offer ourselves love, there's freedom within that. Um, I do have a nice, a nice quote here, and I guess forgiveness is quite difficult for everyone. There's all different circumstances, and a lot of people can sort of say, well, you know, this person did that and I'm finding it really hard to forgive. I would just say that you would need to just let it go for your own sake, for your own purpose. Um, it's really, when you hold on to it, I think you're hurting yourself more. So the quote here from an unknown is to forgive is not to excuse what the other person did. It is to prevent their behavior from destroying your heart. And that couldn't be any more relevant, I guess. It's, um, it's quite relevant into, into what's happening. So last week, we had quite a few on the list. I don't know if you all remember, but I will rattle them off for you. Some of the things that we had on the list were um, of attributes and values that most of all of you, or some of you have noted, were uh, tolerance, removal of greed, hope, inclusive and loving society, equality and unity, resilience in children, truth, transparency and honesty, justice for everyone, equal education, love, removal of selfishness and peace. So I'm going to get Janine to open the mics and I'd like to take one or two more um, attributes and um, do you have any children? Yeah, we do. We've got some kids. I'd like to hear from them first if I could because kids are always uh, something great to say and then whoever wants to speak in, that's great. 
Uh, everyone has to unmute themselves now, so I can't un unmute them. Oh, okay, yep. If you could just unmute yourselves, that'd be great. And um, let's have a, someone give us, in a few words, if you can give me one idea on how to create a better world. Who do we have? Who'd like to speak? Trust. Trust. Trust in knowing that things will be how they should be. Knowing in... Like trust in the universe to deliver. Okay, so in 10 words or less, what do you see, Michelle, when you say trust, knowing how things would be and that the universe will deliver? Trust when you are being true to your compass and true to yourself, knowing the universe will deliver. The trust in your compass to deliver, is that correct? Uh, when, you, when you trust in your, when you are being true to your compass, trust that the universe will deliver. When you're being coherent, brain, heart, coherence, trust that the universe will deliver. Okay, beautiful, thank you. Anybody else? I think sending um, um, white light and um, unconditional love to the source from which anything is sent to you. And yeah. that um, means that it's either accepted at the other end, whether it's um, benign or evil or whatever it comes to, it either accepts what you're sending or it results in getting rid of whatever was there. Okay. And Kerry, had when you um, what do you see when you say that? So you, you're saying sending white light to the source, regardless of whether the source was sent to you in a um, beneficial way or an evil way, or however it was sent, it doesn't matter. So you're sending back your mm -hmm. white light to them and if they accept the white light in the means that it was sent from you then all's good but if they don't well it's it's them okay all right thank you Kerry all right does anybody else I'll take one more uh, no, I good. have one okay Bella thank you could we do unity and understanding Unity and understanding. And when you say unity and understanding, what do you see in creating a world? Everyone being together as one, because as one, we're more powerful. And understanding, we're more, we're more able to understand other people's situations. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Now I'm going to put these attributes with our other ones and as they are your own words, and we will start the meditation. Okay. Everyone, everyone, everyone just and mics, please. Yep. Just mute everyone. Yep. Moment, I'm going to set up the music. Just tell me if this music is too loud. Or it needs to go louder. Just put it as put it to the close board if you can. Can you hear it? Can you hear it now? Yep. Yeah. 
to dream it and feel what it feels like to have already created it. I want you to imagine yourself having and embodying these attributes and values. Tolerance. See yourself having more tolerance. Respecting people's differences. And see that positively influencing your household, family, inner circle, community. See that evident more and more around you in the world. Removal of greed. See yourself sharing, giving, being generous, influencing your family, inner circle, community, There is enough for everybody to be safe, healthy, nourished everywhere in the world and around you. Hope. See yourself as a beacon of hope. A dealer in hope, a messenger of hope, see how you influence your family with hope, they too become dealers in hope. This positively affects your inner circle and community. See more and more people being hopeful, not giving up, facing challenges together. Keep on creating a better world. Inclusive and loving society. See yourself being more inclusive and loving. See yourself influencing your family your inner circle, the community you're in. See it more and more in the world around you. See images of everybody getting along and not discriminating for choices they are making. Equality and unity. See yourself demonstrating more equality and unity. See yourself influencing your family with equality and unity. Influencing your inner circle and the community. Now see evidence in the world of more diverse groups coming together to live their highest potential See people united, not divided in groups, and everyone being more tolerant and accepting, loving and inclusive.
resilience in children. See yourself noticing more and more children being resilient and coping with the world in a kind and compassionate way. See children influencing more children to cope in this world in a kind and compassionate way and therefore influencing their parents and other adults to also deal with each other in a kind and compassionate way. Health. See yourself being healthy. See your body functioning in a perfectly healthy manner. See yourself trusting in your body's divine and intelligent immune system. See yourself becoming healthier in a holistic way and influencing your family, inner circle and community in being more healthy in a holistic way. Truth, transparency, and honesty. See yourself embracing and embodying truth, transparency, and honesty. Taking a stand for truth, speaking the truth, sharing the truth, and influencing your family, inner circle, to become bearers of truth, transparency and honesty. And as you see the world around you, you see more leaders standing up for the truth, transparency and honesty. Justice for everyone. See yourself standing for justice, honoring justice and supporting leaders who want justice for everyone. And see this reflected out in the world. Equal education. See the world educating all children. Everywhere a world where there is no discrimination and that for generations to come, lots of educated communities that were once uneducated help the world financially to reduce pollution and save precious resources. Love. See yourself emanating love from your heart. Open your heart. See yourself loving, more kind, more tolerant, and forgiving more. Loving one another, and including animals and nature, not just people. And as you do that, see yourself influencing your family to become more loving and forgiving. See your inner circle and community also more loving and forgiving and creating a better world. Loving people, animals, and nature more and more. And respecting every living creature, big and small.
removal of selfishness. See yourself giving more, helping more, sharing more, and therefore influencing your family, your inner circle. And as you look around, you see people in your community helping people a lot, giving to each other and supporting and helping each other more and more. See the world giving more and selfishness being eradicated and everyone thriving, being happy and being supported by one another. Peace. See yourself as a peacemaker. See yourself as a messenger of peace. Spreading more peace. Influencing your family. See your family acting with more peace. See how this influences your inner circle and community. And as you look around in the world, you see more peace, less and less wars and violence and more harmony, serenity, love, acceptance and calmness. Unity and understanding See yourself as being more understanding, being more together. See your family and inner circle having more understanding and being together. Understanding of other people's situations and realizing that being more together is more powerful than being alone. And as you look around you, see the world being more understanding and more unified. Unconditional love. See yourself sending white light to source. See that white light spreading to your family, your inner circle. See that white light spread throughout the world. Open your arms to the white light and see that emanating from you, from your family and your inner circle. Trust. See yourself trusting in the universe. See your family See your inner circle, having that trust that the universe will deliver. Now, see the world encompassing that whatever the universe will deliver is as it should be. Having the trust that what will be, will be. Now see the world with all these attributes demonstrated everywhere. See more tolerance, less greed, more hope, 
more of an inclusive society, more equality, more people united, more resilience in children, better health, more truth, transparency and honesty, shining light in the darkness, more justice for everyone, every animal, every plant, every living creature. See equal education for every person. See more trust, more unconditional love, more unity and understanding. Now I want you to see more love, see more people hugging each other, caring for each other, showing kindness for each other, being compassionate to all living things. I want you to hold that image. Feel how good that feels to see the world you're creating getting better and better through time. Now let's see ourselves as light workers, bearers of light, spreading light in the darkness, dealers of hope, creating positive change and living the three values we spoke about, love, gratitude and forgiveness. See yourself with more love, with more gratitude every day for everything in our lives, the good and the bad, because we can learn from the bad. And see yourself more forgiving. I'll give you a few moments to do that now. deep breath and relax. In a moment, I'll count from one to three. At the count of three, you'll open your eyes, be wide awake, feeling fine and in perfect health feeling better than before. One, two, coming out slowly now. Three, open your eyes wide awake, feeling fine and in perfect health, feeling better than before. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Nancy. Thank you. Thank you, Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Before you run and go, may I please, 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 please remind you to bring one, two, three, four, as many people as you like for next time. Um, we want as many people as possible. And, you know, tonight wouldn't be possible without you guys. Share the link. Join next week and bring someone along and please don't underestimate the power and the difference you are making. Every single one of you, every single person here is making a huge difference and thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank you. And thank Thanks you. again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.